Okay, hey guys, welcome back to the Prim's algorithm tutorial number two, part two. Uh, so we were here last time. We gave the values of uh, the coordinates to u and v. Now, why do we do this? That is exactly what we're going to see in this one. So you got the minimum value in the entire matrix of the edge which is connected to the first edge and through the second edge, and so on and so forth. So we executed that and we got the values. Now we're going to mark them as visited. So we go visited of u is equal to 1 and uh, visited of v is equal to 1 but wait you must be wondering why we did this see u is equal to i over here and i is already visited so you don't need to do this again so this this uh, this line is useless so then we go total plus equal to min so we are incrementing the value of total with the help of min so you know we are making the spanning tree right now so that happens and now we are going to you know print the edge which actually happens so system dot out dot print ln and we're gonna go edge found and which edge is that plus u plus is going to be 2 plus v plus again you have this and this will have a weight w i g h t weight which will be plus minimum so this is the weight minimum and uh, we're going to end it over here okay this is going to be printed now and then when this is done we're going to go down here outside the loop okay the biggest loop is this one the counter loop we're going to go outside that loop which is going to be finished by then and then we're going to write okay let's just copy paste this I don't, I don't want to write this whole thing again and we go the weight of the minimum spanning tree is uh, okay basically the minimum weight will be total right so we go total t-o-t-a-l oh wait did I write this come on Quinston focus t-o-t-a-l total and that's about it and let's just run this and find out if this works okay so I uh, ran the program through its paces and I entered a five node uh, graph that is the a five node uh, adjacent matrix and I ran it and I found the answer that is the weight of the tree is 70 and the edge found 0 to 1 0 to 3 and so on and so forth so I think I should just go one more time over the algorithm so what we do here is we set the uh, zeroth algorithm as a zero th a vertex as one sorry um, so what, what what does that happen what does that mean that means that I have already visited the first node okay or the source node or you can even write any other node you want but it doesn't matter because you know the spanning tree is going to be only one there's only one minimum spanning tree in the entire graph okay so you do that and then this line is not special not very special actually this is uh, just to execute the code four times okay this piece of code four times that's all this is doing so then you go and set minimum equal to 999 because you want it to continuously set minimum because here we change the value of minimum but we want it to remain 999 for the next iteration so yeah we do that next we come over here that is the for int i equal to 0 now what is this checking suppose uh, let's take the first um, compi compilation compilation yeah I'm sorry <laughs> so we do that and we go i equal to 0 suppose visited of i equal to z visited of 0 is equal to equal to 1 well yes we just set that to 1 okay so that's this condition becomes true so we go inside here for j equal to 0 okay let's check that one visited of j is 0 well yes it is but this um, condition will not be satisfied then so we go back to over here so visited of 0 or uh, j equal to 2 uh, j equal to 1 sorry because after 0 comes 1 not 2 yeah so 0 j is equal to 1 visited of 1 is not equal to 1 um, well no the first vertex is not visited the zeroth vertex is visited so yeah it will go inside here then it will check minimum is greater than matrix of 0 comma 1 
well yeah the matrix of 0 comma 1 is actually 10 so 999 will be equal to 10 so minimum will be equal to 10 and these values will be given to u and v and uh, v will be set as visited now why didn't we set u as visited because it's already visited u is equal to i and i is already visited over here see we could check in over here and then it will go through the next node so now 0 and 1 are visited so we'll come over here 0 and it will check visited of 0 is 1 yes and we'll go through the loop again then we'll check is i is 1 visited well yes visited 1 is visited right so yeah it will go through the loop again and then similarly all the other nodes will be spanned out and that will create our spanning tree and uh, if you uh, write this code on a piece of paper and compile it for yourself you'll actually understand what, why this happens me sitting here telling you it won't really fit in your head you know and I'm making this videos for future Quinston also so you know future Quinston if you're listening to me yeah take a piece of paper okay so I think that's about it thank you for watching